A Virginia Beach businessman faces a fraud charge in federal court. He's accused in a billing scheme where he allegedly made false claims for the ambulance service he operated. Ten and your side, Andy Fox confronted him about the allegations. The man in that car who's now backing up, we just confronted at his home here. A U.S. attorney says he's committed health care fraud. Before he got in his car, we asked Mike Motai about the fraud charge. Really not like to be on camera. Well, can I just ask you why? What you're going to plead guilty to? No, you can't. Can you tell me about the fraud? Can you get off my property, please? We first met Motai in March 2016, who started Swift Medical Transport and said he can't afford to make free runs for Medicare patients without knowing whether Medicare is going to pay for it. We've had maybe 10, 12 dialysis patients, and we've had to let go of about four or five. Uh, because of the new Medicare policy. Yeah. The criminal information claims during that same time, Motai was committing fraud himself, not having proper staffing on the ambulances required by law. The defendant knew the ambulance transports did not have a licensed operator and or attendant in charge. Can you tell me about the fraudulent scheme? Can you tell me about the fraudulent scheme? Can you, guys can, you can you just tell me about the scheme? The criminal information states Motai orchestrated a fraudulent billing scheme. The defendant prepared and submitted to Medicare and TRICARE numerous false and fraudulent claims, $62,854 to which he was not entitled. Motai ended up calling police and refused to say anything more. Mike Motai has apparently transferred ownership of Swift Medical Transport to another person, and he is scheduled to appear in federal court May 23rd to plead guilty to health care fraud. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.